Hello and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Moon, guys. We are in Hano Grand Resort. This is where we're supposed to be, right? That's what the Kahuna said. Uh, no, no need for repels now. Alright, this place looks pretty cool. Who's this? Who the hell is this? So you've come at last. Ah, forgive me, I have yet to introduce myself. You may call me Faba. I told you before that I would show you someplace astounding, right? Well, that uh, wondrous place is Aether Paradise. Paradise! Just as the name suggests, Aether Paradise is a veritable paradise of, uh, for Pokemon that floats far out in the sea surrounding Alola. If an artificial island made entirely by human technology for protecting the Pokemon, of course I'm an adult who keeps his promises, so I will prove to you that I've told you is the absolute truth and with the tour of Aether Paradise. You will come, won't you? Of course, why not? Good, good, then you'll come with me. Aether Paradise will amaze you. Wait, take me too! Oh, even Kahuna Olivia has come to see you off. As a kahuna, I look after the trial goers who come to my island. They're like my own children. Not that I've got many, any. I've never even gotten married. Listen up, you two. Your greatest opponent, opponent is uh, always yourself. Your greatest ally is the Pokemon beside you. Thanks. Are you coming too, Professor? I've got my own business. Uh, okay. You go see all the tech that Aether is developing and tell me about it later, yeah? That's right. I'll see you on the next island. Ula Ula Island, yeah? Then let's meet up at Mali Garden. Yep, it's goodbye, Akala Island. Uh, though, I guess we can come back anytime we want to, huh? Then let us enjoy and venture upon the grand vessel that will take us across the high seas. By which, I mean to say the ferry. There's the ferry, I guess. Whoa. Looks good, eh? Can you believe a big hunk of iron like Aether Paradise will float in the sea? And it's all because of Pokemon holding up. Did you know that? Really? I knew I could count on you to react. Oh, I can't wait to actually see inside Aether Paradise for myself. Let's go and see. Let's go and see. Let's go and see, babies. Okay, we're already there now. Aether Paradise. What's this? There's a Meowth, like a silver Meowth. It's silver colored Meowth. Here we are, you two. What's this? Here we are, you two. This is Aether Paradise. Sururu. What is that supposed to do? I have no idea. Aether Paradise is a facility created for the conservation of Pokemon. It has been outfitted with all the latest technology for this purpose. Downstairs, our teamwork. Our teams work on developing new Pokeballs and more, yes, all for the sake of Pokemon conservation. Though you will not be able to use any of your Pokeballs with Aether Paradise, a jamming signal is broadcast uh, throughout the facility to prevent them from functioning. Okay, like I give a fuck. Alright. This is the first, uh, the first cutscene, right? The place. I don't know. I feel like it is. Excuse me, Mr. Faba. Yes, excuse you. What is the meaning of that form of address? I have a title for a reason. How else will anyone know how important I am? Yes, branch manager Faba. Now I must go speak with the president about our conservation efforts on Akala. Show these children around and then take them to meet the president as well. Okay, well, let's go. He seems like he's a self-centered person. He thinks like he's nobody's uh, better than him. Phew. Who's this girl? Oh, she's cute. Welcome to Aether Paradise, Shinju and Hao. My name is Wiki. Nice to meet you. 
Wait, you know who we are? How'd you know that? One of our employees told me about your meeting on Akala Island, and of course I heard how you helped protect the Pokemon there too, young Mr. Howe. Thank you very much, let me show you around. The main entrance is up above us. Let's go. Let's do this. Shall we zip right up there? We shall then. We shall. Well, I have that Pokemon. I got that Pokemon, right? This is the main entrance. You can have your Pokemon taken care of at the reception desk there if you need it. Pikachu! Pikachu! Only Pikachu has a voice. Other Pokemon is like some kind of computer voice. You and how are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you hoping to become champions? I suppose I'm, you must be around 11 then. Huh. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I took the first chance I had to join the island challenge once I turned uh, 11. Because someday I really want to be able to beat my grabs, but he's way too strong. How lovely. I suppose all children must yearn to take a journey of their own, choosing what they get to be your age. Though you're hardly just children anymore, trainers are like parents to their Pokemon. Ginger, how would you too like to see the conservation area upstairs? Well, zip right up. I thought I was supposed to take care of my Pokemon first. Whoa, this is the rooftop. Eighth of Paradise is a safe haven for all Pokemon. Not this reason, the use of Pokeball is strictly forbidden with the, within the conservation area. Okay. Wow. We keep Pokemon that have been targeted by Team Skull here, and we also try to support Pokemon that need a little extra protection. Like Corsola, for example, they are quite terribly overhunted by a Pokemon called Toxapex. I hope you won't, you won't mind if I read a passage from my Pokedex. This Corsola, oh, it's cute. Toxapex, Toxapex crawls along the ocean floor on its 12 legs. It leaves a trail of Corsola bit scattered in its wake. Yeah, my gram's always saying that the nature's got its cool side. Sure, it gives us blessings. But can the Aether Foundation really protect all the Pokemon that are out there? Nature does have its own balance, of course. It can be difficult to judge just how much we humans should try to affect that, can it? That's pretty amazing. The Aether Foundation seems awesome. But why did you bother setting up a branch in a place like Alola? I couldn't say. It's hard to know for sure what our president is thinking sometimes. If you'd like to meet President Luzamin, uh, she should be here in the conservation area now. Let's go and find out where she is. Who is that? I think I saw a lady here. nobody oh that's the president right there my sweet Pokemon I promise I'll keep you safe protect you with my love ah oh look at her here that is a fucking I don't know what to call that oh my god creepy you must be Chinger and how welcome to Aether Paradise the Aether Foundation's own private island I'm the president of the foundation, but please just call me Luzamine. I'm so glad that we got to meet. I'm glad there are people like you who travel the islands to learn more about Pokemon. But there are also those unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own selfish reasons or even for profit. And this is, uh, that is why I'm here. I'll be a mother to all of those poor Pokemon, okay? Even Pokemon from distant worlds far from the Alola region are worthy of my love. Uh, Wow, Miss Lu Miss Luzamine. Okay, I don't know how you did all this. Uh, you're like not even that much older than us. Oh, sweet boy, I'm already over forty. Oh my God, you are? Shit, no shit. Wait, what? Oh, you, this right style does wonders, you know. And how? Your style is a bit wanting, huh? I'll have to take you out sometime and help you pick a smashing outfit, like like what you wear. I don't think anyone else could pull off that kind of look except maybe Lily. Oh, don't you worry, you just leave everything up to me. Trust me, children would all be much happier if you'd only listen to adults around them. 
Well, what the fuck is that? Team Skull? Is it Team Skull? That tremor did something happen on the lower floors. And yeah. Legendary Pokemon. Holy shit. Look like a jellyfish. Let's, let's kill it. From another world. This loser me. Stand back, that thing's not right. You poor creature. We gotta battle it. I think. So I'm gonna first uh, save my progress so that I can come back if I fail to catch the Pokemon. I am think I can catch the Pokemon because uh, it's in the... Oh, what the hell is that? I don't know what is that. Defense rose sharply. It's kind of a jellyfish so I can't affect it with my water type moves. So I'm gonna go with... Uh, I don't know. Hyper voice. Hyper voice. Normal type. That's like tentacle, I guess. Whoa, that thing is strong as hell. It is strong as hell, guys. It's strong as hell. Laurentis, come on, it's your turn to shine, baby. Been a shock. Super effective? Really, bruh? You played, come on, you played, you played. Oh, this Pokemon's really strong, it's only level 27. That's fucking crazy, guys. Should I catch it? Can I catch it? I don't think I can catch it. Ouch. Almost died. I don't know what kind of Pokemon that is, but yeah. He's dead now. I should have caught it. It's kind of strong, you know. The unidentified creature disappeared. So it's true, I still need that Pokemon. I need to get it back. What? Miss Luzman, did you say something? That creature we just saw was undoubtedly an Ultra Beast, an unknown being from another dimension that suddenly appears from the Ultra Wormhole. It looked like it was suffering, like it pained to be in this strange place. I can't bear to see that happen. I'll save it and I'll love it. Thank you both of you, thank you so much. Ricky, uh, um, these two are still in the middle of their island challenge, are they? Please deliver them to their next island. Oh, uh, at once, ma'am. I will go to check that none of our poor resident Pokemon c came to any harm. And I need to speak with uh, Mr. Faba about exactly what happened downstairs. And of course, I will have to start preparing the foundation for our newest and perhaps greatest duty yet protection of the Ultra Beasts. I'll see you two off to... I'll see you... I'll see the two of you two off to... I mean, I don't know, Ula Ula Island then. Ula 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 Island. Okay. Is it gonna be like some kind of African island or something? Ula 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 Ula. Let's go to Ula Ula Island. I never thought I'd actually get to see the Ultra Wormhole in my life. We got to tell Professor Burnett that uh, about this, 
the next time we see her, I don't know if uh, what happened should be rightly described as an accident, but I think it's probably best if you do so. Anyway, I was very glad to get to meet you both. Please take this to remember your visit. Some mala sadas for how? Okay, and for me? Isn't it crazy how mala sadas taste even better when you eat them together with someone else? Yes, I think I know what you mean. Meals always taste better when you share them with the ones you love. And for you, TM Psychic. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna teach it to someone. I don't know. Cool. I hope you both have wondrous adventures on your island challenge. See ya guys. Thanks, Miss Wiki. Okay. Okay, the next island. Oh, my heart's still kind of racing, you know. The Ultra Wormhole is real. The Ultra Beasts are real too. The world is just way too big. I bet we'll discover even more new things on the next island too. We're gonna need all the energy we can get. It's time to dig in. You want a malasada? Uh, no thank you. I don't want to eat uh, your leftovers or... Uh, so good shot. Uh, shoot, I already ate the whole thing. <laughs> and like I said... Okay, we're, we're there now. We're there. What's this? Gen 3 was one of the best gens of Pokemon. Uh, gen, I mean, was it Johto? Johto? Johto, Johto was the best one. And then maybe the first gen, I guess. Alright, Terra Firma, underfoot again. Second gen, yeah. Second gen Pokemon was the best one. The Johto series. Ula Ula. Island is like another totally different place than Melemele or Akala, huh? I've got an idea, Chinjo. Let's have a battle. Sure, why not? I beat you. Don't worry, I'll make sure both our teams are in fighting form first. Okay, thank you. I didn't know, I don't know how to go to the Pokemon Center if you do that. You are challenged by Pokemon. Damn, that's a fucking Raichu! And I'm fighting with a uh, water type. Let's just use my Z power and uh, Hydro Vortex. Oh, you taught him how to use Psychic, eh? Sorry, Raichu, you gotta die. Leafian, let's go, Leafian. I have Salazar. Let's go. Salazar, there we go. Leafian. I don't care, Leafian. I don't care. I don't fucking care. Flamethrower now. Quick attack, okay. It's gonna hurt a bit, but not much. Torcat. Okay, back to my pre-marina. This Torcat. Sorry, Tora Cat, you gotta die. Wow, the battle took my breath away. Can't breathe the fresh air that way. We're supposed to meet up with the professor, right? Where was it? Mali Garden? Why did he want to go to the garden? Guess we'll find out when we get there, right? 
Okay, let's go then. You've made it to Ula Ula Island now, big boy. This means a whole new island Pokédex. It is all up to you what new Pokémons you'll uncover here. Okay, never heard of it myself. What kind of place could it be? Feels good to be outside here. Oh, there we go. There is um, Lily here. It's been a while since I last saw you around, uh, but uh, where are you supposed to meet with the professor in Mali Garden? Okay. Uh, let's see the professor then. Where is professor? I heard that they serve tea somewhere here in Mali Garden. I'll start by searching from the bridge here. Why don't you start around the edge of the garden? Okay. okay, you go through the middle. I go from the. I can't go around. Huh? There is Poku. Po professor Kukui, Professor, what are you doing? Meditating or something? Oh, Professor Kukui. Hey there. What's going on with you two? Your eyes are shining extra bright today. Your eyes are shining extra bright today. Did something big happen? Sure did. Professor, Professor, you gotta hear this. The ultra wormhole opened, like, right in front of us, and they're really, like, there really are ultra beasts in there. And you've got to tell Professor Burnett too. Ooh, you got to see the ultra wormhole and an ultra beast that is amazing. Oh yeah, sounds like an even better reason to train harder. Yeah, on your island challenge. Maybe someday we'll be able to go through the ultra wormhole. But your next trial is up on uh, Mount Hokulani. You can catch the bus to get there. Just head to the bu just head to the bus stop on Route 10. Yeah, you guys go ahead without me, Professor. We've got a hot date with Melisada shop. Uh, I'm visiting every last one of them in my own personal island challenge, yeah? Roger that, good buddy. I'll be waiting at the bus stop whenever you're ready to go. Okay, goodbye. Pokeballs around here. Rage candy bar. I don't know what that does. Rage. Hey, ice cream. Ice cream. Okay, so we're back in Mali City now, and uh, we're off here. Can you move out of the way, please? Would you mind if I ask you something? Pew, pew, pew. You want to go to the ruins? Yes, I want to take Nebit to visit Ula Ula's ruins, but they are located deep in the large forest, large desert. I don't want to ask that much of you. Right now, I'm planning to visit Mali Library. There's a book that I want to look for there. Maybe you'd be even willing to help me. I know that Mali Library is, is uh, here within the city of Mali somewhere. Even I should be able to find it. I can do this too. Alright, alright. <laughs> Professor. Oh, looks like Professor Oaks. Uh, well, hello there, Rotom. Are you feeling nice and comfy there in that Pokedex of yours? <coughs> Never better. Oh, well, hello there. Good to meet you. I'm Oak Samson Oak. I'm a Pokemon researcher and uh, I'm only looking into the regional variants found around here. <coughs> and you must be Chinjur, huh? Young Kukui mentioned you to me. Rotom, you, uh, you'd be sure to help this fine young boy on his trip around the islands, alright? 
What do you think you're talking to? Sit. Of course I'm doing that. And you. Okay, the young fellow from Kalos who helps invent that Pokedex put a lot of work into it and as much love and care as you as your parent. I'll be the Mali Library. I'll be in the Mali Library if you ever need me. Feel free to stop by and chat anytime. If you've if you're having trouble finding the library, just follow the back black bit brick road. Meaning the patterns on the uh, these paths of course. Yeah. Follow that pattern, it'll get you there. Okay. Goodbye, Professor Oak. I don't know where I'm headed to right now. Probably up. What's this? I'm sorry I ended up getting lost again. Uh, I wandered uh, around completely lost until I ducked into the barrel shop and then I saw this outfit and they said it was the last one they had in stock so I bought it even though I don't think I'd ever have the guts to wear an outfit like that. <laughs> but the woman working at the store did tell me where to find the library so I guess you could say it was all for the best. Though the library was actually right past the barrel store if I just keep going. <laughs> Oh, the little girl's back. And been a while, friend. Looks like you are Island Challenge is coming along favorably. That must be pleasing to the Tapu. So, who must, who might this be? Oh, hello, my name is Lily. My apologies if Mud Steel spooked you just now. Doesn't seem like you're a trial goer. What are you up to? Oh, I'm actually um, studying the Tapu's ruins for various reasons of my own. Well, that's some fine initiative. I'd be happy to show you the way wherever you'll be going. My must still here is as sturdy as you will get out. Um, she can easily carry two. Thank you for the offer. Okay, you can go with her. Mm, that Pokemon doesn't look so good. Rapid Dash looks so awesome. Shall we check out Mali Library first though, since we're here? I mean, all the Pokemon in this gen looks like shit. Except for, I should say, this, uh, the, the, the snake Pokemon that I have. Not the snake, the lizard Pokemon, which he looks kind of cool. The book that I'm looking for is a very old one. It's a book that contains old myths and legends, and Professor Burnett told me about it. Those tales seem to suggest that Ololo's legendary Pokemon came from another world. Okay, goodbye. Must be a very valuable book, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to take it out of the library. Who's this? Is that what you're looking for, princess? Give it a read. Oh, of course. Well, this title, The Light of Lola. I'm just, um, read it aloud, shall I? Okay. Okay. They did the Oh, okay, then did the beast that brings the dark cast its pal on the line of kings. So would the beast that had won mark the path for all such finished things. Beast of sun and beast of moon, through their union, they brought new life. A fragile heir in Alola, born that island guardians would keep from strife. The ancient kings sang their thanks for Lul Lunala with song of flute. Two tones rang out across the altar, a perfect pair even after mute. What the fuck is that? Some kind of poem or something? Isn't it great? My dad's books are all great. What? I mean, yes, it is. But, uh, when you say your father, isn't this book very old? It belonged to my dad. I know, I don't look it, but my family used to be pretty much royalty. I had to have all that. My dad's book moved here, so they don't get ruined by the Pokemon. I can tell you lots of other stories about Alola, too. You're interested? Well, that would be wonderful. I would be delight delighted if you did. I think I'll stay here, but I... I know why you've come to Ula Ula. You'll be undergoing another trial, won't you? Good luck with it. I read that Al Ula Ula Island Electric Tribe trial can be only reached by the bus on Route 8. Okay, that's it. Okay, so this is an electric type. Uh... Yep, there we go. 
pretty sure I'm going up. Mally, Mally. Oh, there's the bus station right there. Hey, listen, listen, you gotta hear this. Okay. Gee, thanks, my name is Jester. I know you don't know me, but know when everybody has their favorite poems, poses for when they throw pokeballs and why not in battle. Those moves are called your battle style, and I'm the choreographer who came up with all those battle styles once upon a time, but I don't need a successor to pass all my knowledge to. I don't have, okay. Which is why I need you. I want you to battle. I want you to be my battle style successor. Look, I'm your elder here, and I'm asking you a favor. You can't say no, okay. Alright, now I've got my successor. Then let me get straight, uh, started straight up, okay, straight away with a lesson for my favorite pupil. All you have to do is copy me now, do what I do. One, two, three, here's the pose. You learn the elegant style, okay. Now you can use the elegant style in battle. Just come talk to me if you want to change your battle style anytime. But that's all, that's all I share today. I'd love to give you more battle style lessons, but first you've got to go and get more experience. Then come back and see me. Okay. Let's get on the bus. Alright, I'll see. We are about done here. Let's call it a day and get on home. Grimer. Hey, what are you doing out here, kid? This is a restricted area. We're working here. Seriously, boy, aren't you a Mali native? We are famous for hospitality. Hospitality. And kids need to explore and see the world. How else they are gonna learn? I swear. Yes, father. I mean, sir. Yes, sir. If that's what you really want, then I will tell this random trespasser about what it is we do here. This is where we take care of all the garbage produced in the Alolan region, young man. We generators work together with our Pokemon towards the goal. In fact, the garbage that we human workers gather is consumable by muck and grimer like this one here. Our president here beside me has a muck that can eat 10 tons of rubbish in a single day. Though me and grimer here are still just temporary contract workers, but isn't that an island challenge amulet you have there? I, I took on the trials myself when I was a kid, though it was a bit too much for me and so I actually ended up giving up right away. Look here kid, seems to me that my mux had a bit too much to eat today. How about you join me in a battle and provided a bit of exercise to aid the oral digestion? Good, you got a uh, juice bar my friend, uh, then let's get things happening. <coughs> Okay, you are challenged by a janitor, Sean. Muck. Oh my god, what kind of an animal is that? Holy shit, look at the colors. I mean, look at that. Guys, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Okay, I'm gonna give a fire blast. Muck. Muck. Sorry, Muck. My Pokemon is just too strong for you. Okay. Hey, not too shabby, just like figured. You've got something in you, kid. Amazing you even beat my I mean my boss muck. My boss is muck. Whatever you're doing standing like there like a lump, you're up next, you useless dullard. What? Me? Me and Grimer? There's no way we could win against this kid. You see, it's just like you did with your trials when you were a kid. The moment something starts to look tough, you give a cry and off you run, you give up. And you're supposed to be my son, how can I leave this plan to you if you never learn the value of a bit of hard work? I can't even ever leave things in your hand if you don't give me a less give me reason to trust you can handle it. Father. Fine, we'll do it. Let's battle. I will not run away anymore. I'll give this everything that I've got. Then I'll take you on. Swatch father, I mean sir. Okay. You gotta make up your mind, boy. Is it sir or father? Grimer, you have a Grimer, it's too cute. Okay. Blast it all. You! I'm sorry father, I really am just a weakling. You are hired. What? Father? I'm not your father, I'm your boss and I'm saying that you're hired, boy. From this day forth, I'm making you the head of the clan and I won't hear another word of your complaint about it from you. What? You said this, that this trainer was stronger than you or me, even me. And still you and your grammar went up against him with everything that you had. 
That's what I've always wanted to see from you, that kind of persistence and drive. And that's why you and Grammar, that's why you're going to take over from me. Thank you, uh, Father. I mean, uh, Mr. Former President, sir. Sorry for using you to teach my boy a lesson. But when I saw the island challenge I made you had there, it just hit me, you know. Take this for your troubles. It may be twisted, but it's not garbage. Okay, twist a spoon. I don't know if I need that. Now that I've got my successes sorted out, I can finally retire to a life of peace and quiet. I think I can trust my boy's crew. Keep on eating up all of Alola's garbage from now on. Yes, sir. You can, sir. Alright, guys. That'll be it for this one. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, guys, stay sexy.